Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to The Longest Journey. Alright, we have uh, completed uh, Warren Hughes's little mission, and he has sent us over to uh, someone by the name of Burns Flipper. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Maybe we'll have an opportunity to uh, knee him in the groin. Hello? Are you Burns? Yeah, chill out, baby. Chill. Be there in a sec. So want to knee you in the groin. Do you even have I legs? Get down here. Who the hell are you? I knocked. You let me in. We spoke only a few minutes ago. Warren's friend, April. Warren, who? I don't know any Warren. Oh, Warren, right? Yeah, Fire Lizard, Zeke. He's a good supplier. The flipper likes him. Likes him good. You a buddy of his? Yeah. Oh, you his baby? Yeah. Oh, sure. I, am... I date fifteen-year-olds all the time. I'm gonna sabotage that temperature. So, what the fuck do you want? I'm going to so sabotage that uh, hover chair. Uh, you're weird. What else do we have? Um, what is this place? What is this place? This is the Flipper's Boutique, mademoiselle. Not very boutique-ish. From joy chips and porn cubes, strictly hardcore. Max illegality. What would be the fucking point otherwise? The satellites and BH generators? Yeah. What the hell is a BH here, generator? I can get for a price. This place ain't your neighborhood S smart. Let me tell you, shop smart, shop S smart. Nah, what I got here costs mula, mucho mula. Are you in the market? You don't do that as good as uh, bomb, Bruce by Campbell, the by the way. Got a hot one sitting in storage. Give it to you for a cool one hundred million, huh? Bargain. Yeah, sure. Just sure. Give me my. Just check my wallet. No, of course not. Are you crazy? Just put it on my card. <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? Ha <laughs> uh, ha! What happened to your legs? What happened to your legs? Jesus, are you fucking kidding me? My fucking legs, huh? Yeah. You wanna know? Yeah, I do. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't wanna know. I'll tell you you took my legs. Captain Crunch. Now, answer this question for me. I'll tell you who took them. Sure. Are you a virgin? What? I ain't telling you nothing until you answer the question there, Trebek. Can, can, we, can we sabotage that? That's none of your business. That's none of your business. Then it's none of your business how I lost my little legs. Got it? Fine. Got it. Fine. I don't care that you lost all three of your legs. Uh, you're weird. You're weird. So are you. I need some information. You are just like, you must be obsessed with 20th century uh, uh, television or something, aren't you? I need some information. So visit the fucking library. Or go bother the Oracle or whatever. The flipper can't help you. That's too bad. I guess Warren was wrong about you. Yeah, he said yeah. really... Hey, what? Spoke highly of you. What was he wrong about? That you I were like great. being the best there is at getting information. Any kind of information. I guess you can't help me. Fuck yeah, I'm the best. Best there ever was, better than Chocolat. I'm the king of data streams, the emperor of the feed, baby. Eh, I maybe more like a baron. I need information on a guy called Jacob McAllen and an organization called the Vanguard or the Church of Voltec. I need information on a guy called Jacob McAllen and an organization called the Vanguard or the Church of Voltec. Sounds pretty heavy. I gotta tell you, Voltex and shit, they got security, top of the fucking food chain. You got something concrete for me to go on here, huh? Besides names, names are nothing. What do you mean? Details. Gods and the Jesus is in the details, woman. There's a fucking ocean of info out there. Gotta know where to start, what to focus on, where do I begin? Give me a map. Totally making a list now. All right. Thanks, Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help, Mr. Flipper. I'm the Flipper. The Flipper. Call me Burns. Yeah, beautiful. Ha. See ya. Yeah, I'll flip you. All right, look. You need you need something concrete. I got something concrete for you. Here, have this ice cube. Hey, Burns. I'll be right up. Hurry up. Get your butt up here. I got this data cube from the police station. Yeah, so what the hell is on it? Stuff. You asked for details? This thing has details. Plenty of it, I hope. And you expect me to sort through this shit for you, locate the relevant information, dive into the big 
blue sea of corporate security and fish out whatever it is you need from the feed? Yes. Cricket? Please? Shit, you're cute. But if you weren't Warren's little play thing, I'd kick you out. And hey, whatever. Hand it over and I'll give me a few minutes. So making a list. That is the second truly awful male character in this game. You done yet? Hurry up. Come on. Wait in here. Waiting. Waiting. Hmm. Man, Warren was definitely wrong about you. You are you are not quick on the draw. Holy macaroni, you do know what the fuck you're fucking with here, yeah? You do know, don't you? These guys are the fucking epitome of uncoolness. Yes, I know. It's good stuff, though. Precious information. I gotta hand it to you, sexy. Don't call me that. You know what you were doing bringing this to the flip stuff. So, what can you tell me about the Vanguard? Is there anything in there about where they're located and how to get access to their files? Shit. Aren't you a little too eager to trot with the beast, babe? Slow down, chill. I'll tell you what you need to know. First, take a look at this recording. Okay. Step over to the screen there, and I'll play it back for you, okay? What's what screen? Oh, that Join screen there. In the effort. We must charge forward into a new era of compassion, companionship, and goodwill. Yeah, this is boring. An era of expansion. What's this have to do with anything? Our children and our children's children that can withstand the forces that oppose us. Okay, that's getting a little bit more sin sinister. Shall be victorious. Still, it's fairly bland. What the Church of Voltec was created to do is bring spirituality back into our lives. I'm more of a compassion man myself. That's fake news. We must fight back. We must take to arms and defend ourselves against our oppressors. Ah, he must be running for president. Yes, so you say. Nah, your time's going to end. Just, you know, wanted to let that let you know that. What we must to protect ourselves and our families. We will do what we must to defend our beliefs against the heretics. We will go to war if that's what it takes. I'm not believing you your on your earlier comment about not being a man of violence anymore. I don't know about incredibly you charismatic. Your friend and mine, Mr. Jacob McGallan, head honcho of the Church of Voltec, or the Vanguard, if you wish. Supposed peaceful philosopher, dude. Not the case, as it turns out. Obvious Hitler complex, real Nazi wannabe. This is heavy, dangerous shit you got. I don't know if I'd go that far. I love it. Didn't see anything but about the church wanting to murder was people. A peaceful religion dedicated only to meditation and philosophy. You and twenty billion other souls, Missy. This is the truth, it's clear as simple as butter. Now take a look at this, on the screen again. Okay. Who's this? Back to the right, videotape. Guy named Gordon Halloway. Evil looks like a zombie. Dude, huh? Turns out he's McAllen's right-hand man, runs the Vanguard's secret ops. There's a gold mine of info on this data cube. Yeah! Why did the police the station Vanguard just have, have this information? They bred in tanks. Their grasp of genetic engineering far surpasses anything I've seen so far. Now, I've seen everything. From what I can tell, the Vanguard are up against an enemy they call the Fathers of the Sentinel. I don't know who the fuck they are, but I'll find out. Must be the good guys, though, if they're fighting these creeps. 
Anyhow, this guy Gordon, this Fallout? he was originally intended for some kind of religious duty, whatever the hell it was for the Sentinel dudes. Let's say, like, Dalai Lama or whatever. But the Vanguard kidnapped him before he was ready, and they did some shit with him, some experiments to try to use his powers, and I'm thinking this spiritual crap. It's just bullshit. But both the Vanguard and these Sentinel dudes, they believe this kid has powers, that he's destined for something very important. So when the Vanguard grab him, that's like, holy shit, fucking big deal. What kind of experiments did they perform on the child? Weird fucking thing. He's trying to control these powers he has. They fuck up big time, though. And the kid is totally screwed up. Split in half in some spiritual way. One part chaotic, the other pure logic. So oh, so he's a master. Gordon, he's like the coldest motherfucker you'll ever meet, so stay out of his way. According to these documents, he'll kill somebody for cutting in line ahead of him, which I'll do too. You know, or like coughing in his own direction, which I'd fucking lop your head off for. But anyway... Now, he runs the whole dark side of the Church of vault -Tec, and I'm guessing he's next in line to take over. After old man McCallum leaves this earthly realm, which could take ages, I'm afraid, with the tech these guys got. How come the police were able to gather this much information on the Vanguard, and yet they don't do anything about it? I don't know, maybe it's routine. Maybe they want something on the bastards to pressure them when they really need to. And maybe the information just got lost in the system. Well, fact gathered is, though, it somehow. That with assholes like these walking among us, we're not safe. None of us. Least of all you. So please don't hang around longer than necessary. Yeah. So, okay, these guys are badasses. And I should stay as far away from them as possible. Disregarding that, however, Yeah, disregarding that minor thing. Where are the Vanguard headquarters? Uh, you're either very brave or very stupid, Chiquita. But, whichever it is, I shouldn't tell you. Possibly both. Why? Because I'm a girl and I can't take care of myself? No, because anybody who fucks with these guys is sure to end up with a bullet lodged in the back of their skull. Or worse. I'll be fine. I'll take that chance. I'm a video game shit. protagonist. You know, I'm the flipper. The flipper. I'm not into this shit, you know. I'm strictly into sales and profit. This detective shit you're doing. What the hell is it? Why are you doing it? That's, uh... Very long story. It's some other time, yeah? I really need that information, Mr. Flipper. Okay, chill, dick smack. I got it. I got it. You see, the church has several unofficial headquarters round and about, but they're insignificant. Cover operations, basically. There's no concrete address on this data cube you gave me, but I scanned it through some online records quickly, and I discovered that the Voltex, the Vanguard, are linked to a very big company indeed. So I've heard. Which is... MTI, Malkuth Technologies Incorporated. Big guys, almost as big as Bokamba Mercer. Beat the hell out of me. But it looks like the head honchos of the Vanguard may be running MTI. Which is kind of funny, because I got some beef with MTI. Some heavy duty beef. And now I got something to hit them back with, fuckers. What does that mean? That MTI is run by the Vanguard? Yeah, that's what he it means said. That wherever the corporate headquarters of MTI are, you'll probably find the Vanguard elite. And do you know where the MTI corporate headquarters are located? I'm the flipper, dude. What the fuck do you think? Shit. Don't answer that. Grendel Avenue. I don't know where that is. You Grendel, know where Grendel Avenue, Avenue huh? Is? Holy Christ. You're kidding, yeah? That's like the numero uno neighborhood in Newport. Only the top dogs live there. Apartments go for hundreds of millions of dollars. How do I get there? Sorry, babe. A slag like you are stuck on the ground level for all eternity. There's no stepping up in the world for you. you gotta have proper ID, top-level ID, to get to Grendel Avenue. And you don't, babe. Well, Sorry. I'll just get a fake ID, then. All right. Can we talk to you again? Maybe you can tell me about a fake ID. Hey, Burns? I'll be right up. Yeah, hurry up. What is it? Could you fix me up with some fake identification? Could you fix me up with some fake identification? Why would you want that? So I can get to Grendel How Avenue. How else am I going to get to Grendel Avenue? Hey, I'm warning you, don't fuck with those Vanguard shitheads. Yeah, they bite. And I bet you they don't let go like fucking, what do you call those little fucking dogs that don't let go? Pitbull Terriers? Shit. Man, those things are nasty, fucking wicked nasty. Can we discuss the fake identification I need, or not? Can we discuss the fake identification I need? Baby, I gotta tell you, it's gonna cost you cash only. You got a lot of cash? 
plenty of it. tons. Of your ears, baby. Yes. I'm sorry, friend of a friend and all, but it ain't cheap. And I advise you to forget about it pronto. Let me worry about that. How much will it cost me? I have like three hundred dollars. Yeah, that, that's that's enough, right? <laughs> Try twenty k on for size shortcake. Sorry, little hmm. missy, but fake IDs cost a moolah. I need to buy a properly generated key from a connection downtown. I need an authorized blank card. You're an idiot. They don't come cheap, that stuff. Even if I cut out my profit, which we're afraid of wearing to dismay, <laughs> it'll still come to $15,000, baby. I'll just go knock over a bank, then. Would you consider alternative forms of payment for a fake ID? And, oh, God, don't, don't, don't answer the way that I think you're going to answer. Would you consider alternative forms of payment for a fake ID? Sorry, Chiquita, that urge disappeared with my little legs. No, it's not, not that. God forbid. More like a a favor or something you need. Don't think I need. Whoa, it. God. Problem with your uh, chair there? Shit, that gets me every time. What's up with your chair? What's up with your chair? Ah, the anti-grav control unit is fried like fried taters, brainiac. What is taters? Ah, it'll be gone, gone, gone for a good in a few days. But I hope my good friend, my buddy, my mate, Freaky Sales, gets me a new one before that. So it don't fall down. If I get you a new anti-grav control unit, would that get me a fake ID? <laughs> if you found a good one that actually works, and one that can lift more than 200 kilos, hey, sure. Like you're gonna find one. <laughs> I think I might know. I think I might know. All right. Thanks. Smell Thanks. you later. Sure. Why does the future always? Why is the future always filled with awful people? Uh, let's see. Burns Flipper. Okay. Now there's an eccentric. A bastard as well. Not to mention a big asshole, major jerk, and a total idiot. But reasonably friendly. I don't know about that reasonably friendly part. And definitely interesting. Again, don't know about that definitely interesting part. Some people might say an enigmatic man. No. Mm -mm. Not me, though. I never use the word enigmatic to describe anyone or anything. He was helpful, though, and managed to decode this data crystal that I found in the archives. The Church of Voltec is apparently associated with MTI, and their headquarters are up on Grendel Avenue. But I can't get up there without access to the upper levels of the city. And they'd never give that to a lowlife like me, so I have to fake it. The flipper can help me out with this too, but it's going to cost a lot, so unless I can find a replacement anti-grav unit for his chair, well, I'm out of luck. Now, where did I see an anti-grav unit today? Indeed, where did I see an anti-grav unit today? Alright, let's get the hell out of here. A paint shaker, huh? A paint shaker. I wonder. What's the worst that could happen here, right? Oh yeah, yeah, shake that. Shake that soda can. Oh yeah. I think that's quite enough. Take it back. This is volatile stuff. I better get rid of it as soon as possible. Oh, it'll be fine. <laughs> it's actually shaking. It's a pretty volatile can of soda. It could explode at any moment. Hmm. I wonder. Let's take a quick save. If I shake this can any more, it'll probably explode. Uh, I didn't think so. I don't think I can get it to explode in my face. All right, well, let's go uh, head back. We know where the uh, anti-grav unit is. So we just need to get it. As we slowly, 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 slowly... Make it back there. Do 
Can I buy like a, a hover car or something? Make getting around a lot easier. Okay, Newport Docks, Hope Street, Metro West. All right, so we know how to get past the lasers. Um, but how do we get rid of this cop? Let's go talk to him again. Move along. Nothing to see. Keep it moving, ma'am. <coughs> Damn. Dust. Hmm. It's very dusty, huh? Well... I want to think about uh, what we might be able to do to uh, alleviate that dust for him. But that will happen next time. See you then, everyone.